Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nay. And today's video is a mother freaking hair review. I told y'all was coming and it's here. It's a raw Indian hair review from a company called My Hair Co, who just so happens to be run by my best friend. But before I get into any of that, I just want to say that I'm sure we all know what's going on in the world. If you don't know ways that you can support the cause without going to protest, I've listed a bunch of petitions that you can sign in the description bar um, and also any places that are taking donations such as bail release funds, um, GoFundMes for the families, um, donating to trans and LGBTQ rights. Um, and things like that. Be careful, however, where you're donating your money to because you want to be sure that it's allocated to people who actually need it. And I just want everyone to remember that getting into the video, um, my best friend, her hair company, she's a young black entrepreneur. She's selling raw Indian hair and I got mine and I'm really excited about it. Her company is called My Hair Co. And she sells wavy and curly and I think a little bit of straight. Um, when I come back with a wig made, I'm going to have all the specs. So I'm going to literally text her and be like, tell me what you want me to say about the hair. Because I don't know too much. I just know that I was supposed to support, so I did. Um, this is a 16 inch bundle. Um, the hair comes washed and conditioned which is great for a lazy person like me because I do not be feeling like washing and conditioning my hair. The hair also comes with a sticker and a button, both of which I do not have on me right now, but they're really cute. I posted her, I'll put her Instagram in the description box and all of the specs and everything like prices and stuff will be on there. This is one bundle of the 16. There's no shedding. I'm literally aggressively, I'm literally aggressively running my fingers through the hair on purpose and there's no shedding so that's a plus that's one bundle this is another bundle of the 16 and like i said it comes washed and conditioned for you literally not getting any shedding and that's always important to me because like the last hair that i reviewed literally is trash and that's why i never picked up on reviewing it again because i don't even want to put the wig on like i don't even know what to do but this is what the bundles look like um, I know she sells curly hair as well and with the curly hair um, someone had she had a raffle and someone won three bundles and they put I think it was like 1.7 bundles in their hair basically like they didn't even use the whole three so that really just goes to show how thick the hair really is. I just can't get over the fact that there's really no shedding and then this is a natural pattern because if they if they wash if the hair was washed and conditioned then this is how it dried. So that's super cute. That's what the bundle looks like. And then this is what the closure looks like. I wanna say this is a four by four probably. Yeah, I think so. Um, one thing that I really like about the closure is as you can see, like it's a bit thinner here and then it gets thicker. So that kind of like makes it so that I don't have to pluck the closure because I didn't wanna do that anyway. What I'm about to do now is definitely bleach it though just because i don't know i want the way to look really really nice and this is a 16 inch closure um a little bit of shedding coming from the closure but for me shedding with closures is always a bit different than shedding with bundles because it's literally like machine wefted onto whatever lace this is so yeah but i also haven't run my fingers through this this is my first time doing it so now as i'm doing it more frequently i'm not getting any shedding so yeah, I'm about to make this wig and then I'll come back and like I said, I'll have all the specs and um, this is just my initial review. I'll have back, I'll have all the specs of the hair price and all of that when I come back with the wig made. Hey guys, so this is the final product. I swear, ignore that mess because that is literally the mess from making the wig yesterday. It took literally all day long but that was partly because i had to leave out like eight times and i just wanted to make sure that the wig was going to look perfect so let's just get right into it like i said this is raw indian hair from my hair co um a hair company on instagram that's now up and launching m-a-i hair co on insta just kidding it's m-a-i dot 
like period hair co on instagram and i'll definitely have that linked in the description bar for you guys so i got this hair um it's 16 it's a three bundle deal of 16 inches and a 16 inch closure and that was 4.30 i think um and i ordered the hair on a friday i believe and i believe i got it the next friday or i believe i got it the next friday or that monday so i ordered it on a friday it took i believe six business days to come well the shipping policy for the company is a seven to ten day shipping period so for me to have gotten it in six was pretty cool especially go what is going on with the world and like how some countries are not sending hair um the fact that i was able to get my hair on time was definitely a plus um what else so as i was making the wig i noticed that the closure is a different texture or a different color than the rest of the bundles the closure is a bit lighter but that's to be expected because it's raw indian hair it's coming from completely different people as essentially um this is the hair in its natural state i've literally just been brushing my or running my fingers through it i fell asleep last night um with a bonnet on and I haven't had time to brush it, so if there are any snags, that's probably why I haven't brushed it since I finished the wig yesterday. The closure was very easy, very, very easy to bleach. This is my first time bleaching a closure, and as you can see, um, everything came out really well. I bleached the closure with 40 inch developer and bleach, and I let it sit there for 15 minutes. I didn't do any other looking, checking, worrying. I didn't have to double bleach or anything like that. All I did was wash the bleach off, wash it with purple shampoo, and then from there, I um, added like a little powder underneath the closure on the wig cap and went from there. So it's giving very much scalp to me, which is definitely a plus. Um, this is my na the natural state and I really, really want to leave it like this, but I'm being summoned to style it. So since I'm so simple, I think I'm just gonna straighten it um, and come back and show you guys what it looks like straight. But yeah, if you're looking for some raw Indian hair to get into, because at this point it just seems like that's really the wave that everyone is really moving into. And it makes sense because imagine how much money you spend a year constantly replacing virgin hair because virgin hair doesn't have the same longevity as raw Indian or raw hair regardless. And so I just feel like if you make this one time purchase, it kind of lasts and so it's like, you're essentially saving money. I think that's the way that everyone is getting on. So if you're looking for raw Indian hair, you can definitely shop my hair co because my hair co will get you right, period. So yeah, I'm about to straighten this hair, fix the wig up a little bit, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like straight and how well it's straightened. Just finished straightening the hair, bruh. I really, really, really love it straight. It's really, really, really thick. Like I said, I tried to use mostly all three bundles because I wanted it to be thick. Um, as you can tell, it looks a little layered, like, but I didn't do that. Um, the closure is, like I pointed out, the closure is thinner here and then it gets thicker to give like a more realistic look. So the fact of it being layered already is also a plus because Layer hair is just, I don't know, layer hair often, oftentimes, I like layer hair better, but I never want to mess it up, so I never really do it. So the fact that it's already done for me is definitely a plus. Okay, guys, I'm back for one little final review. So I flat ironed the hair earlier today, but I'm not used to having raw Indian hair or raw hair, whatever. So like when you flat iron synthetic hair, if it's in like a body wave or wavy state, that's typically like, as soon as you wet it, it's gonna become straight. So you can flat iron it in like quick second and just kind of go. So as you can see, like the hair is really thick. So I was taking like super thick sections and just kind of like running through it with like 400 heat and it got straight. But when I went out in the heat, it was like, girl, this is real hair. So like, what are you doing? So I probably should have blow dried it first to straighten it like I would do my natural hair or someone would do with like naturally wavy hair. And then I went in and flat ironed in smaller sections, which took really long, but the outcome is 10 times better than what it was, what it even was earlier today. So I just wanted to come back on here and say that this closure is really giving like scalp. 
But yeah, so thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you get you some myhair.co on Instagram because earlier in the video I said it wrong. But it's my hair, M A I hair dot like a period co on Instagram. Definitely be sure to DM if you have any questions about the hair. And thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.